If you have problems with blurry graphics or other quality related issues when you import your graphics inside Unity, the reason is usually because Unity applies some default settings to your graphics out of the box. And sometimes these defaults are wrong. And I'm going to show you an example of that. So here's a little moddy character in pixel art character that my friend Aaron created inside a sprite. And you can probably already tell something is off, right? It's blurry. And there's this weird stuff going on here around the mouth area. And if I open up here, my assets folder, right, the same one you see right here, with the little moddy character, and I double click the PNG, this is how it's supposed to look. Look at how crisp this, this is and how detailed it is. So how do we apply the same things over here? Well, we need to change two things. So I activate the file down here by clicking on it. And then over here in my inspector, I go down to default, and then next to format, look at how it says automatic. If I click on this drop down, now I have alternatives. And automatic just means that Unity determines it on its own. So it could be any of these options that Unity has applied, we don't know which, but it's definitely wrong. So if I click on this one, RGB 8 32 bit, which is a more rich uh, format than the one you see here, look at what happens when I hit apply. Look at that, that weird stuff with the mouth disappeared. However, if we compare this to the other image to the original image, it's still not crisp, it's still blurry. So to fix this, I'm going to activate the character again here, the file, and I'm going to go to filter mode. And look at how it says bilinear. If you click on the drop down and choose point, which means no filter, look at what happens. It happens immediately, you don't even have to click apply. Now, I'm just going to do it just to make sure it saves it. Now, if we compare the two, the original file, and how it looks inside unity, I would say we're pretty damn close, if not a one to one match. Now, there might be other things you can do to improve this. I don't know everything about Unity, but I'm pretty sure this is going to solve a lot of your problems. But one thing you need to make sure is that you don't mindlessly just apply the tips that I showed you in this video to all your graphic issues, because what I showed you might not solve your problem. Maybe you only have to do the filter thing, maybe you only have to change the format, maybe you need to do something completely different, right? It depends on the graphic, right? And if you apply the wrong settings to the wrong graphics, then you might get a, an even worse result, right? So make sure that you actually pay attention to what you're doing. And maybe you only need to do one of these things, maybe you need to do four things for your graphics, it really depends on the graphic. All right, but just know that you cannot trust the default settings that Unity apply all the time. They're usually pretty good, but not all the time. So that's it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. If you have any constructive criticism, any advice, any alternative solutions to this, better solutions, whatever, please let me know down in the comment section. I read all comments. I, I, I reply to everyone that I can. And yeah, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.